Hi everyone, this is Sam Donches. I'm here with a new show, TV Dinner, another spinoff of The Film Feast. I decided too much news in one video. I want to separate the television stuff so that it gets a, just a little bit easier to watch. Uh, some people just want to hear about television news, so that's what this is. It's not going to be a weekly thing. It'll come out as often as it needs to. Again, television news, but I'm also going to talk about what I'm watching right now. I want to hear what you're watching as well. That'll be in the second part of the show. But first, for the news, Jay Baruchel has been cast in an FX comedy series with Lorne Michaels as the executive producer. The show will be a half hour long and is being described as a sweet and absurd look at the life and death stakes of dating. I like Jay Baruchel a whole lot, so I'm pretty excited to see him moving into more television work. I haven't watched Undeclared, but I am aware of it. With Lorne Michaels behind the show, I think bringing a little bit more SNL-style humor to FX will be interesting. FX is known for their more inventive, risque humor over the past couple of years, and melding that with SNL is going to be interesting to see. A couple weeks ago, Kyle Chandler was cast in a Netflix, a new Netflix series, a thriller series from the creators of Damages, and he has just received a trio of co-stars, Sissy Spacek, Linda Cardellini, and Ben Mendelsohn. Now, Sissy Spacek, I just watched Carrie for the first time a few months ago, and she, her, her screen presence is incredible. It's unlike anything else out there. Linda Cardellini, her work on the last season of Mad Men was fantastic. And Ben Mendelsohn, you know, if you watched the most recent episode of The Appetizer, well, the first episode of The Appetizer, you know how much I love Animal Kingdom. He was a big part of that movie, and he makes pretty much anything he's in better. Adore, especially, uh, The Place Beyond the Pines, and The Dark Knight Rises all have roles by him that are at least interesting and cunning and funny. He, he adds weight to every character he plays, and it's not faked. It's not untrue. It's just this. It's him. It's him behind that role. Very, very similar to kind of how Philip Seymour Hoffman embodied his characters. Although in The Dark Knight Rises, it was kind of a weird accent, and his name was Daggett, and I just, I couldn't help but think of the Angry Beavers. The show has no name yet, so I can't exactly tell you what to look out for. If you see Kyle Chandler's face pop up on Netflix, that's it. Although the show does have a description, uh, it's centering on a close-knit family of adult siblings whose secrets and scars are revealed when the black sheep, oldest brother Danny, played by Mendelssohn, returns home, and Spacek will play the sibling's mother. So there will be some pretty interesting character work in there, I think. Really good, meaty story with good dialogue. At least that's what I'm hoping for with this series. And final story of the week is for the show Gotham, the kind of the Batman origin story. Southland and the OC's Ben McKenzie has been cast as the young detective James Gordon. The show, the, the whole idea of Gotham, I'm not really sold on it quite yet. I think it'll be interesting to see it come together, but really I don't have any hope for it. Uh, more Batman origin stuff, I just kind of blow it off. I, I think the Dark Knight Rises is still so fresh in my mind. The whole trilogy is still so fresh in my mind. But, you know, you've got to keep keep the ball rolling, keep producing money for the for the properties and whatnot, and especially the studios. Uh, Gotham, I think, is really going to do that for them. So that is it for the news. And now I'll talk a little bit about what I've been watching recently. A few weeks ago, about a month ago, I finished up Friday Night Lights. It was one of those shows that I was kind of sad to see it go because I, you know, it, it was just all so constant for me for a good month or so. It was just Friday Night Lights back to back to back to back. And now that it's over, I'm just like, eh, I miss you. Kind of like Buffy. I miss, I miss Buffy. And I miss this show now, although I am trying to write a little long piece for it, sort of like a I watched Friday Night Lights so you didn't have to sort of thing, although I, I don't feel that way. I like it. I, I enjoyed watching it. I just write, I just call it that for other people. And coming off of uh, Friday Night Lights, I've been able to jump on to True Detective, which has been such a fantastic show. So well made. So well acted. I also decided that kind of in between its little break because of the Super Bowl, uh, I wanted to start Hannibal because I got an Amazon Prime account for a month, a free trial, and they have it on Amazon Prime Instant. So 
I've been watching Hannibal recently, which is a very good show, very well made. I have some some problems with the writing, but for the most part, I think it's a very intriguing show. And the second season's coming out really soon, I think. I think it's this sometime this month. I'm sure some of you have watched it and enjoyed it. But in between um, True Detective and Hannibal, there's a lot of antler-based murders. That's... <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Not sadistic weird, just weird that it's so close together the first season of Hannibal and True Detective both having really distinct looking antler deaths and constantly in the back of my mind is The Wire which I finished the first season of several months ago on HBO Go started the second season and I don't even remember what happened I just sort of turned it off for one reason or another and never came back to it it's not a thing of disinterest you know it was a great first season and a very intriguing first episode to the second season i just can't seem to force myself to return to it and i will eventually i also got to tackle girls and there's so many other new hbo shows like um they just canceled uh, family tree which was the show that i really wanted to watch and uh i think it was hello ladies or something ladies with with a uh, Stephen merchant and that was another show that i wanted to check out but they canceled that as well that's it for the first episode of tv dinner i don't know when the second episode will be but it'll 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 be around eventually thank you for watching